Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers whenever they decide to send us some. We got a beautiful day here to shoot a video. It is one of those type of days where you walk out and start sweating immediately. But uh, anyways, back to the video. So uh, we got an 1172 and a 825 in today. So it looks like Lance is wanting to tease me and keep us in business for another month or so. Um, right now I've got two 825s, a uh, used 975 and 1172 available. Oh, and this one, this is a consignment deal. This is 855S. So if you're in the market for any of these, give me a call at 423-892-6272. But uh, yeah, so you're probably like, Brad, you're doing a lot of 1172 videos recently. Um, that's because they're the most popular. So whatever's, you know, the most popular, you're probably gonna see more of. Um, this one right here, uh, it, come, it requires a dually truck. So you're gonna be looking at a 350, 3500, 450 series uh, long bed dually. This is the only one Lance actually uh, suggests and requires you to have a dually. I believe it's because it's got a lot more rear weight on it. Um, and then this one right here, I mean, you're pushing quite the weight. Uh, base weight on these is 4,318 pounds and base dry or uh, wet weight on these is 4,772 pounds. So obviously you can kind of see why you're in need of uh, a little bit more truck there. We got the swing out brackets on this one so you can park the fat butts underneath them. Park right up underneath there. There's your Lance plug. This is Lance's own wiring harness that they uh, they send the truck side, side plug to us with the camper in order for us to install that for you. Uh, 2022 models, you've uh, probably noticed that the accents got a little bit darker, pretty sick in my opinion. You got black accents everywhere instead of white, and then you got the black mountain graphics instead of gray. So really makes it pop, looks real nice. Uh, let's see, we got the dual pane acrylic windows. These are hit or miss with some folks. Uh, these right here, they kick out really far, let more air flow in, more light. Um, that's why I like them. Some people are still, you know, uh, the uh, slick, sleek glass kind of people. So, you know, different strokes for different folks. Um, also, you're probably wondering uh, price on this. So these start out now at $72,004. I actually wrote it down here so I didn't forget. They keep on going up like every month or whenever they just feel like it, I guess. Um, so constantly got to write it down, whatever the price is. You never know. Um, this one actually retails at $83,314 with all the added equipment. Um, we'll go over that also. But most of your stuff now is standard, like electric jacks, four-season uh, four package, all that good stuff. All right, so walking on down the line, I bet you these aren't unlocked. No, they're not. I didn't have my stuff together. Hang on. All right, got this bad girl unlocked here. All right, so in your slide out, you're going to find the refrigerator maintenance door up here and there. And then you've got uh, two storage doors here. These are insulated door hatches. And then you got some carpet in here. And on the opposite side of this is gonna be uh, underneath the dinette, you're gonna have your slide out drawers. So uh, heat will make its way into this door and keep everything nice and warm and all toasty. And uh, looks like they're gonna, you know, keep the side window out that used to be here. You used to have like on the 21 models, a big old window, right? here right in this area right in that region that thing needs to be washed up got some dust on it from uh, old cali but uh this one's got the slide out awning that's an added option and i wouldn't have one without it either uh two slide out awning covers uh you don't have to get up there and sweep them off every time you roll in the uh, awning all your campground connections are on this side also so underneath this slide out a whole lot easier to get to while it's on the truck You've got your city water uh, connection there, black water flush here, and then right underneath, you've got a 30 amp plug. So that's where your 30 amp cord goes, goes up there, screws on so it won't fall out. Like I said, everything's a whole lot easier to get to while it's on the truck. Always watch your head if you have the slide out. But um, over here, got our liquid and body waste. Uh, so liquid waste is gonna be, look at that, it's all folded up little cheap stickers 
Anyways, uh, liquid waste is going to be like your sink water, uh, shower water, stuff like that. Body waste is going to be your black water tank. Um, for your tank sizes, you got a 42 gallon freshwater tank and 35 each on the gray and black. Uh, so like I said, this is going to be your freshwater tank drain, cold and hot water drains, main power shutoff, uh, parking satellite connections, and then an outdoor shower for all my freaks of nature that like to take a shower outside. Some people say they use it to rinse the dog off. And I used mine on my 975 for uh, rinsing the dishes whenever I was done with the old Blackstone griddle. This one's got an onboard generator. It's the 2500 watt own and run um, propane run generator. Super quiet, uh, less vibration uh, since they come out with the QG model here. Um, heard that it's within like a state park re regulation and stuff like that so pretty cool all right like i said before we got all electric jacks around all four corners uh, then we got this rear kick out here on the inside you'll see what's hiding beneath this slide out here uh, got the backup camera that's an added option docking lights that's standard big old lance logo right here on the back so everybody knows what you're whipping around that comes with it underneath here you've got this massive storage door in case you didn't know i'm a handyman now brought me a good old tape measure because it seems like i always need it this old girl is 32 inches deep and God, this is so hard to do holding the camera 42 inches wide ow shoot I just hit my head on that so yeah, you got plenty of space up in there. I think I was measuring the whole time, didn't really show you what you got. That's what you're working with though. 32 inches uh, deep and 42 inches wide. Perfect. Got this, uh, what they call the fat ladder or the Maggie rack or something like that. I call it the fat ladder. It's a lot uh, bigger than most of your other camping manufacturers ladders. Very sturdy, very beefy. Um, I think it's got like a 250 pound weight rating on it. Here's us a little side view. Got the side power awning. That's standard on all 22 models. Um, believe that one's 14 foot long and uh, has an LED light strip built in at the end of it. And then you also have auto wind sensing on that bad boy. So uh, when, the, when it gets too uh, windy outside, gets uh, too wild, then it's going to roll itself back in as long as you got the uh, power run to it or power switch on like I said before we're four seasons we're also certified green go earth this right here is t telling you what model we got on our hands here and the floor length so this this one's got 11 foot 11 inches of floor length holy crap it says it was like built in May of 22 and I just got this thing today so that goes to show you how far behind camper builds are right on okay uh, there's our vent for the stove top got our outdoor hand warmer here this is where the furnace blows out outdoor speakers so we can tick off our neighbors two 30 pound propane tanks and some people call them seven gallon if you didn't understand my first terminology there outside ac plugs this is where you fill your fresh water tank. This is your access door for uh, winterizing and accessing your water pump. As you can see there, we got ducted heat to this uh, compartment here. Underneath back here, that's where you're going to find your external propane connection. And then right here is your service door for the water heater. That is a six gallon. I think that's all I need to show you on this side. We need to do a roof walk, so uh, let me go get a battery or something to put in this thing. It ain't got no batteries, so I gotta run this. All right, here we are on the roof. Lance has a fully, fully walk-on roof. No soft spots whatsoever on this girl. Probably need to stop using genders, I don't know. Anyways, you got one solar panel here. You can get two. Um, these are 100 watt each. Most people do get two. This one's got one. We can always add another one. 
Um, but yeah, they're basically good for trickle charging. Got us a nice skylight so we can see the stars at night. There's the front. This one's still taped down from delivery. Make sure that it don't go nowhere. Got the upgraded 11K uh, Coleman Mach uh, 11 TV antenna. The little rack here to hold down the uh, canoes and kayaks and whatever else you want to put up here. Then our fantastic roof vent. All right, that's pretty much it up here. So, on any camper with slide outs, everybody always wants to know if you can get in. So I'm glad I brought my little jumper box out here so I can show you. I don't know anybody on planet Earth that's going to make it through this little crack. You got the slide out that comes in all the way, so no access. All you got to do is run it out right here at the door. I had a camper with slide outs. I think people make it a lot bigger deal than it needs to be about running slide outs to have access. If you want room in a camper, you gotta have slides. And just like that, it's out. People talking about stopping on the side of the road and everything, you ain't gonna stop on the side of the road. Who does that? When I do, I just open the car door and take a leak. I mean, I'm not gonna have a sandwich right there on the side of the interstate some might but i could do that in my car so um just run the slides out it's that easy i like i said i had a camper with slides and had no issues with needing to park on the side of the road to have a you know five star dinner or anything uh but anyways this is what the interior of a 1172 looks like we're gonna make our way in here let me get this jumper box out of the way right quick all right, got the good old jumper box out of the way. As soon as you walk into the camper here, that's where your batteries are at. Uh, you can order these with dual lithium batteries if you want to spend an extra $2,600. They're pretty nice. I had them in mine. Uh, over here's your controls for all the lights and everything. You got your docking lights, exterior lights, entry light, slide out switch, jack remote uh, plug in there fire extinguisher i think those are just for looks you ever have a fire let it burn let the insurance buy it you don't want to have a half burnt camper half built camper you know that that's just nobody wants that kind of stress in their life but anyways the 1172 is the only truck camper that lance actually produces with the rear couch option when you walk in good lord it's hot in here it's hotter than the devil's armpit Got you some built-in shelves here. They used to have a slide-out pantry, but now you gotta have bins to put in there if you wanna mimic a slide-out pantry. Here's where you get your actual weight. So this camper fully loaded, I don't even see it actually. Oh, there it is. 4,962 pounds wet with options. If you wanna take away the wet weight, you subtract 404 pounds of water and propane. That takes you to what? Where's all the math whizzes at on here? What, 4,558 pounds or something like that? If I got that right, I'm amazed. Um, then you've got the uh, rear pull-out couch here. This does make into a bed. I'll show you. Pull up, pull up on it, pull out. Then you've got your little futon style bed. Pretty sick. Then you just kind of put it back together like that, fold it in. Then you got your little kick out here. Ooh, about punched me out of the way there. So you got a little kick out. These don't recline, so it's kind of just an awkward place to let your feet float in there. That's where a pole and a table goes. Stick up like right about here. So you can play on your iPad or laptop or whatnot. Up top here, you got your key ring. I'll demonstrate that. Just like so. And it's got room for three more also. So pretty pumped about that. Got your power side awning switches. Fantastic fan. All this AC and fan and vent and everything's kind of teasing me right now because I don't have no power to run them. But... Sure would be nice. So 
Lance does supply uh, little tops to go over here too. I'm sure those are in here somewhere. This is actually my first time inside the camper since it got here. So y'all are seeing it for the first time just like I am. But you do have sink covers that go over that. So if you need extra prep, prep area, you got it. Got you an AC plug-in right there in the back for your crock pot, cure egg, whatever you want to throw in here and cook in. Or if you just want to charge a phone. Uh, so on this model, you can either do, which this is an upgrade, the convection oven. You can do a regular oven and a microwave. Or you can do the convection oven, which gives you the three burner stove top and the uh, convection oven here. And then you gain an extra storage area. This one actually come in rather clean, so I'm impressed. It's like they swept it or something before it left. Got you an extra little kick out here for some more room for prep. <clears throat> Crud. There we go. Got some uh, decent space underneath the sink here for storage. Then you've got two pull out drawers over here. Alrighty. This is where you uh, play with your generator and everything, turn it on and off. Uh, this is where you check your levels here on your control panel battery, fresh water, black water, gray water tank, whether it's uh, empty, one third, two thirds, or full. And where you control your water pump and gas or water heater on gas or on electric. Okay. Let's see if I can fold that in with one hand. No such luck. Nope. Okay. All right, so here's our dinette. This also makes into a bed. Uh, Lance says that it is 44 inches by 71 inches. So I've seen a couple uh, things online here recently that's uh, said that, you know, Lance is adding to their measurements, adding inches. Uh, we're in 2022. I thought that we were done, you know, us men were done adding inches to our measurements, but I'll double check. We'll see what it is. All right, so we have 44 inches, they got that right, by 71 inches. Lance did not add to that, they got that right. Good on them. Then above that, you have the fold down bunk. A lot of people use that for extra storage. Um, it holds up to 200 pounds. You've got your dinette switch here. Sets the mood real nice. You can have it low or you can have it high. All right, moving on. Oh wait, pull out drawers. You got two of these. These right here, you lock them by pressing this button right here. And then you unlock them by pressing that button. Then you can pull on it. That's new. Uh, these fridges were black and now they are like this driftwood color, just like the uh, accents here. So the cabinetry and everything. So that's definitely new, looks pretty sick. This is a six cubic foot fridge. It runs on both our AC, DC and gas. Across from us, we have the TV and uh, let's see, that's a 28 inch LED TV that swings towards the bed, then towards the dinette. And then if you adjust uh, towards the couch. Got us a dry bath here. Wet bath would be shared with the toilet. But this one is separated, so they call this the dry bath. Got some storage underneath here. And that's supposed to be here. Just like that. And then you've got your six gallon water tank there. Water heater. A sink with some countertop space off to the side. Nice drawer here for your toothpaste and razors and all that good stuff. Then a little medicine cabinet up top. Up top, you've got your 60 by 80 inch bed. So it is a true queen size mattress. Got your radio that doesn't play Blu-ray. 
still one so apparently i've been rambling on for the past you know three or four minutes not even noticing that my gopro shut off uh from the heat i guess so uh i want to pay close attention to it i think we talked about the radio and everything i don't really know where it left off but again this is a 60 by 80 inch mattress true queen size got some uh pop-up cabinets over here to the right and left got the ac plug-ins up top there and uh oh our nice uh new ceiling titties here those are a lot bigger than the other speakers i don't know if there's a shortage of the other ones but got some nice old honkers hanging off the ceiling now uh over here too in the uh, dinette area so pretty cool but yeah that's pretty much it i'm pretty sure i hit everything i don't really know what i've been talking about for the past four minutes but uh i know it's a lot cooler outside than it is in there be nice to have some power run to it or something so for some reason my gopro wants to keep shutting off uh, while i'm trying to film uh, so i'll try to make this short and sweet um, it's about 96 degrees out here probably 110,000 degrees inside the camper also don't have my sunglasses today so i can't look cool but uh anyways this was the 2022 lance 1172 they start out around seventy-two thousand dollars on the msrp side this one retails for around 83 and some change uh, if you're in the market for an 1172 they're getting uh, more expensive by the month here i just received another price increase notification so if you're in the market want to save a few thousand give me a call today 423-892-6272 all my contact info will be in the description below you'll be able to check it out there i have my email and all that good stuff down there i prefer phone calls if you can't call me i don't i don't really take emails serious they take too long where I could get a whole week's worth of emails done in five minutes on the phone. So um, give me a call if you're interested. Again, that's 423-892-6272. Again, I'm Brad over here at Chattanooga Fish and Fun. We sell these bad boys and Ranger boats. Until next time, y'all take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.